Hello friends, it's Raquel from Infinite Succulent here and a little busy bee that's buzzing by my head and my little aeonium bloom. So I'm here today, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite plant allies that I've been using this year and this is the beautiful Borage plant. Um, I've been using this plant to make teas as along with botanical baths, but today I'm actually gonna gather some flowers and some leaves to create a botanical tincture. So I've been doing a lot of research on this plant and one of the things it's really, really great for is to um, treat the symptoms of adrenal fatigue. So treat the symptoms of some of that burnout that we get. I was reading that energetically borage is a really great plant for those of us who tend to hold ourselves to really high standards and do a lot of self-criticism. <laughs> so that's one of the challenges I've been dealing with is to be more compassionate and kind to myself. And I'm going to make a tincture of this beautiful plant to help me with that intention um, and to use some of the properties in this plant to support my nervous system and my adrenal glands to keep me feeling a bit more energetically stable throughout the months because one thing I notice is that I tend to have a little bit of like a part of the month where my energy goes up really high and I'm really just rocking it and feeling great and then it dips and there's like a week a week and a half where my energy really dips and I deal with some feelings of just burnout and um, feeling less than which is a common thing but it's something that I'm really aware of and so I'm gonna use the borage plant as one of my allies to assist in that. So I'm going to walk you through creating a tincture and um, I hope you enjoy. All right, once you've harvested your plant material, your borage, flowers, and leaves, you're going to bring them inside, rinse them off, make sure you get any little pieces of dirt off them. Um, and then all you'll need to create your tincture is, um, you don't need a pe pestle, like I have one, a little mortar and pestle, right? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, you don't need this. You can just use a knife and cutting board as well. Uh, you'll need a glass vessel airtight and you'll need some vodka or some vinegar that you can use as the base for your tincture. Um, so what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna just pound up the leaves a little bit and then add it to the jar and then add the flowers just as they are. you have all of your plant material in your glass, then all you're gonna do is take your vodka. With the vodka, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. Just go for the cheap stuff. <laughs> and pour it in. And you wanna make sure you cover all the plant material. So really pour it all in there. All the way up to the top. I'm gonna let that settle for a second. So you can use a spoon or a fork and just kind of push everything down there. You just wanna make sure that all the plant material is completely covered in the vodka. The flowers are kind of floating up a little bit. That's okay, once I seal it, they'll st stay down. So I will let this tincture sit here and cure in my windowsill for about four to six weeks. Um, and what I'll do is every day, uh, especially this first week, I'll, I'll come down and I'll open it up and just make sure that the plant material is still being covered by the vodka. I might have to add a little bit more vodka if some of it has been absorbed by the plant material so it's a little bit less. So I'll check on that for this first week. And then I'll also come over and just give it like a little swirl. Hold it, think about my intentions. And again, this is Borage, which is a really about a lot of adrenal support and calming an overthinking mind. So every time I come in and I hold it and kind of swirl it, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Relax the mind, relax the mind as I swirl and swirl. Stop thinking. <laughs> so that's my intention with this tincture that I'm creating. And in a few weeks time, I'll show you how to uh, drain it and then use your tincture. All right, well, it's been about four or five weeks since I first put this borage in with the vodka. So it is officially time to strain it so that, my, that I can start taking the tincture. Uh, what I am going to be using is another container, a little dropper bottle, 
this is it's, there's more in here than is going to fit in here so this is for the extra and also for pouring um a cheesecloth just like a organic cheesecloth for straining as well as a small filter Thanks. <clears throat> giving thanks for my beautiful borage plant right here. It's the one you see with those blue purple flowers hanging downward for the amazing medicine that she's been giving. Plus uh, the bees love her as well. And that's always a good thing. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. <laughs>